Okay, I got my stuff from the HK Now store. A whole bunch of it. So yeah, I'll just go through it one by one. Alright. So first I'll start off with like some little stuff I got for free. Two little keychain machines. Two of these little three by three keychain type things. A mini Dian Shang cube. Two free stands. And the special lubricant, even though it leaked, which sucks. Then I got some stickers. And now I have a whole bunch of DIYs. One purple type A cube for you cube. Another purple type A cube for you cube. A porcelain white cube for you cube. Um, this is a black type A third model. Uh, green cube for you cube. Black cube for you cube, a silver cube for you cube, and th what's interesting with this one is that the core is already assembled. But yeah, a golden cube for you cube, oh, there it is, a bronze cube for you cube. A black type Q, which I'm guessing it looks like my Japanese speed human kit clone because of the core. But yeah, I'm not sure. And my transparent cube for you cube. Now I have a void cube. A 3x3 three three cube, which we just got for free. I don't really know what it is. But yeah. A transparent cube we got don't know what it is I'm actually not sure if this was free but I don't know yeah we got that and this transparent cube I don't know what this is or anything about it a 3x3 three three transparent cube don't know about this didn't ask for it now I got my floppy cube it's pretty sweet Another floppy cube for a friend. And then a mirror box. Which is pretty sweet. Then I got a stack pot. Stack pod display. And a black Rubik's Magic. And a black Mefferts Pyramids. A black square one. The Mefferts 4x4 black. And this, which my dad got for me and didn't tell me about, and I have no clue what it is. So I'll just see. Whoa. It's this. One of those little uh, Plata Puss things, or whatever it's called. Whoa, this is really small. Smaller than it looks. And I have no clue how to solve it. But I'll figure it out. So yeah, that's like all I got. Now I'll just do some unboxings. I guess I'll start with um, the floppy cube because this one's interesting to me. So yeah, floppy cube. Whoopsie, one sec. Here, I'll open up this floppy cube. Okay. Wow. So it comes with a little pamphlet. T 
teaches you about ways how to solve it. So that's pretty cool. And just a little bit about it. Whoa. This thing is weird to hold because I'm so used to like a 3x3 three three type feel. First turn. Wow. That's really cool. It's kind of weird because like I'm not used to it, but that's pretty cool. But I don't get about the center is that like when it turns how it pops up and doesn't break but yeah it's really cool I'll be sure to solve that even though well, I already did solve but I have solved them so you yeah, ask the floppy cube Now for the square one. Wow. Wow, there's no lubricant in this. It already turns great. That's really cool. So now I guess for the Rubik's Magic, I've never actually played with a real one that isn't from like the store. Oh, there we go. So yeah, this is a real Rubik's Magic. Um, okay, well, when I solve it, it doesn't turn out right, so I don't know what's wrong with it, or what, um, yeah, I don't know, I want to try something. That's the Rubik's Magic. That's pretty cool. Um, now, I guess I have my uh, Mefferts one. Don't know what this is called. Turning on this is really good. <laughs> I don't even understand this. I'm not supposed to like change shapes. But wow, that's really Hmm. I don't know how to play with this. Now I guess I'll go to my methods for by four. Ooh, the inners do not turn very well at all. But the outers are okay. But yeah, I'm out of time for the first part, so go check out part two.